The school board's decision over flags is upsetting some parents and staff in the East Bay. The Sinol board passed a resolution tonight to restrict all non-state required flags on school campuses, basically only allowing the U.S. and California flags. And that in turn means that a ban on pride flags. Our Grant Lotus joins us now live from the newsroom with tonight's meeting that ended up a little disorderly. Grant. Ken Vicky, intense passion here on both sides. The board decision came down around 940 tonight. The vote was two to one. And it happened in what essentially was an empty room, as you see here. You see, around 9 o'clock, the board asked everybody to leave, get out, and even called in sheriff's deputies to escort folks out. You see, it had been packed earlier. This is all because the meeting apparently became disorderly when some people felt the public comments were too one-sided. The resolution was a divided one because it raised the question of whether it is discriminating against the LGBTQ plus community. It takes away educational factors for our school. Um, LGBTQ uh, rights are part of our social studies history curriculum here in California. Um, and I think the flag is a, a very big symbol of that and is a part of our education. I mean, all we really need is like the American flag. The American flag represents everybody, whether you're lesbian, gay, trans, questioning, queer, bisexual. Uh, the American flag is for everybody. This issue started back in June when Sonol Glen School put up a flag to celebrate Pride Month, which was reportedly torn down two days later. The school responded by raising another one, this time on the campus flagpole. The decision caused a stir in the town. Ultimately, the board president proposed a resolution limiting the display of flags on school grounds to the U.S. flag as well as the California state flag. We'll keep you posted if there's more there. Ken, Vicki, for now, back to you.